Hello everyone and welcome to another Trace of Tries tutorials. Today we are doing it Ipsy style. Um, this will be my last Ipsy bag like this because I finally got the invitation to do the plus. So definitely switching, well I already switched to the plus. Um, for those of you that are new here, I do have a special needs child. You'll hear him clapping his hands and making noise in the background as he doesn't like anyone or anything that takes my attention away from him. Okay, on that note, um, I did add one thing to my order again this month. Um, mm. I've never tried Violet Boss, so I thought it'd be a good chance to try it. Mm. This is mm. what we're looking at today. So I'm curious about that. See, I told you. <laughs> okay, let's open this up and see what we got. Looks like we got a cute little lemon palette. Don't eat lemons, but I think it's pretty little. Did I say palette? I'm not bad. Okay. See, I told you. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out of the bag looks like this Tony Molly Peach Punch Sweet Foam Cleanser. Not going to be trying that today because I have already washed my face and put my skincare on. So we'll save that. And the next thing I pull out looks like this Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Mmm, okay. This brand new primer is loaded with ahoba and grapeseed extract to moisturize and keep your skin hydrated for 12 four hour, full hours and coconut to smooth your skin. Plus it helps your makeup look better and last longer and like all of Tarte's fab formulas, this one is vegan and cruelty free. Okay, so we'll give that a shot today. Why not? Even though I already have oily skin, hopefully it doesn't make it worse. And the next thing, oh, okay, hello. I think somebody used this nail polish. Pretty Woman, huh? Let's see. Pretty Woman Nail Polish in Wonderlust. But mine looks like somebody might have tried it out, so I don't know about that. That was a pretty color, though. I mean, it's Eastery. Kind of a almost like a purpley blue. I don't know though. That's kind of weird that it's looked like it was opened. I'm not sure about that. Anywho, let's move on. Okay, and the next thing is Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow. And I'm not even gonna try to say the name of that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, it claims this finely pigmented, highly blendable, duochrome iced lime eyeshadow is made with hemp seed oil to nourish and hydrate the sensitive skin on your lids. Okay, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, it's in this cute little tiny packaging, and yeah, that's what we got. Um, oh, okay, yes, that is pretty. I like that. I'm not mad about that at all. Okay, and last but not least, Billion Dollar Brushes Fan Brush. Okay, I have not washed this, so maybe we'll just use it for highlight. We're going to the food. I'm not going to stop the video and wash it now. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I just went in with my Mac paint pot and soft ochre and this palette has no shade names but we're going to take this lightest shade in the palette with my one of my new BH Studio Pro number fives. I have really been liking these BH uh, 
because I got two sets. I got this Pro, and then I got their new Festival one. Okay, I don't see that at all. Uh, and yeah, I really, really like them. Um, okay, so we're going to call this for setting the blue shade and just put it all over. Okay, then I'm just going to take that same brush and go into the shade right next to it. Okay, I just, you see that? <laughs> yep, that's me. Alright, let's try that again. This is a little bit better in the transition. A little bit. You can see it a little. Alright, just gonna take a uh, crease brush here. I think this is one of my BH ones. Anyway, I'm gonna go into this um, burgundy type color. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I just did a little, little tappity tap. I think I'm just going to take this about halfway on my lid, um, on my crease. Because I'm not trying to look too outrageous today because I do got to go to the grocery store and yeah I try not to get too wild for going to the grocery store but I do want to try this little palette out and I wanted to get some filming done because it's Easter weekend and tomorrow it's gonna rain all day so yeah, mm -hmm. gotta get some stuff done because I'm probably not gonna get a chance to film this weekend again. And I just wanna, I think, deepen up my outer V just a little bit more. So I'm gonna use this tiny little number 10 from BH and I'm gonna go in that dark brown shade. And try to flip this around. And it's just Deepen up my outer. No, I need a little bit fluffier of a brush. It's a little too dense. Okay, let's try this number seven. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I don't want to take away that red. I just want to, or burgundy, I just want to deepen it up just a little bit more. Yeah, see, I like I like that a little bit better. Then I'm gonna go back with that crease brush we used and barely dip in to that burgundy shade, just so we don't lose it here, because I don't want to lose any of it, because it's a pretty color, and these shades seem to be. Mm -hmm. Doing all right together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not the best shades I've ever used. I don't know much about Violet Walsh myself, mm -hmm. but not the worst, not mm -hmm. the best. Just right there in the mm -hmm. happy medium. All right, I think I'm gonna, yeah, bring without any additional product. Bring this down some because I think it's gonna look a little too crazy if I don't. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, it's like just looking weird right there. I don't know. Is mm -hmm. it me? <laughs> Is it me, Thomas? Is it me? Alright. I think we're we just kinda making a mess here. Alright. I think we're gonna go in with our gashed pinky shade there. That's what it looks like. And put this on the outer part here. Just with my finger. So 
like that. And I think I'm going to take the lightest shimmery kind of color. And I am going to see how this works with my BH number 9. So, let's see. Mm, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to see how it looks when we spray it. Because I'm not getting very much pigmentation at all. Alright, so... I went and grabbed my spray, and I realized I forgot to grab it. I'm just going to give her a little spritz here. Okay. Let's try to get a little bit more here. Let's see. Okay. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> I just want to fade that out into the other shade. It is getting a little thick on me, but not too bad. Yeah. And I want to get, let's get, let's get a number nine from the uh, Studio Pro and go back in to that first pink we used just to fade them together a little so that I can get rid of this harsh line we have going on and yeah I kind of like this look and I think I'm going to take some of that there's like a darker pink right next to that pink we put on first that first pink shimmer and I'm going to see I'm going to blend it in with this outer V just to create a little more dimension, which I'm not sure if I really like, but we're going with it now. Okay, so I, I am just going to dip back into this brown and put, try to put it on top of that a little. There we go. Take that first brush we used and get rid of some of the harshness that I'm seeing going on here. <laughs> yeah, we're getting rid of the harshness, aren't we, Thomas? Okay, yeah, I, I like that. All right, let's give this hydrating primer a shot. Ooh, it's almost the consistency. You know, it's even, it's even more uh, liquidy than my hourglass veil. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's really, really um, a sticky feeling. We'll see how it dries down. See what it looks like. It smells good. Oh, it smells like coconuts. I love coconut. Coconut and vanilla are two of the actual um, smells I can tolerate because I get migraines really easy from smells. So um, yeah, I don't I don't mind the coconut smell at all as long as it doesn't break my face out. Okay, so I did I did take my hourglass veil and just go over my big pores going on on my chin and on my nose and stuff because I'm not about that big pore thing anymore. <laughs> and I went over with my L'Oreal Infallible because I don't think my NYX or my Estee Lauder is going to play well with this because it is quite a... Um, I don't know, it felt kind of sticky to me, so I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, but I did I did get the um, mm. e.l.f. Camo Concealer to try. I got Light Sand, so we'll see how this mm. goes. Mm. This shade may not even work for me, but we're going to give it a shot. Mm. Because, yeah, why mm. not? Okay, sorry about that. Got a text message. 
Back to what we started with. I don't want to start out with a whole lot of this because... Mm, I don't know. I've never used it, so we will we'll see how this goes. Let's just start working this in. I'll hold my mirror up so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And that might blend out to be not too awful light. Yeah, okay. Let me finish blending this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did put just a little bit more under my eyes, but this is how it looks blended out. I don't think it looks bad at all. Uh, yeah, I think my pores look really good. Usually they look a lot um, more accentuated. Maybe it was using the two primers together, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's set these under eyes. So we give them a fair shot here. I'm just using my pretty vulgar translucent powder for this. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty drying formula. Not quite as drying as the shape tape, but uh, yeah, not bad at all. I'm not mad at that at all. Oh, oh, do you see where I just got that in my brows? Oh, I hate my brows. Okay, so I just did some light contouring with my um, cover FX. I ended, I keep getting messages and it's messing up my whole filming vibe I got going on here. So... Uh, yeah, but I wanted to let you guys know how it blended out, or how it, uh, set, and, yeah, it's about, it's really close to the shape tape, I gotta say, I mean, do you guys see, look at that nose contour, what the heck, okay, that's better, I can handle that better, okay. Let's just melt all this together with my Old Faithful. I've really been liking that. I mean, the all-nighter works great, too, but I've really been liking that. So, let's tackle this lower lash line. All right, I'm going to take this BH number 11 and go into that brown shade that we used. And hopefully not get a bunch of fallout. I'm going to stamp that right along my lash line, close as I can, just like that. And I always mess up my left eye. I don't know why, but probably because the way I have to reach, because I'm right-handed. going to have to just be the way it is. But it always, see how it always ends up lower? I don't get that. Now back into that cranberry shade. We're going to call it cranberry shade. I think it looks kind of cranberry. Oh, uh, BH number 10, that little one that I thought was too um, dense to do that outer V. I think it's perfect for this lower lash line situation. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe how good Thomas is doing today. Yeah. Let me uh think about what I want to do with this waterline. I think I'm just going to go in with Honey Dude today, and, uh, yeah, just 
to brighten it up down here. Because my eyes kind of came out darker than what I was thinking when I was thinking about this palette. But that's okay. We're going to work with it today. But just a little nude. We'll just brighten her up a little. And uh, yeah. What a shame this is. This is green because wouldn't it, this has been so cool on my inner corner. Well, I think I'm just going to put a highlighter on my inner corner. And I think I'm going to use this Artist Couture that we got in another box that we won't mention in this video. Just because. I'm just going to use my little e.l.f. concealer brush. I really like this brush for my inner corner. And we'll see how that brightens it up. I think someone's outside. Not, maybe I was just hearing stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Brightened it up some. Not as bright as I was hoping. Did I just have that? I swear. Not as bright as I was hoping for, but there's, I don't, let's try it. I'm going to take that shade that we put on the first part of our lid, and I'm going to go on top of this, and I'm going to see mm -hmm. how that looks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know, I think I like that mm -hmm. better. I think that's going to work out better. Mm -hmm. I am going to take that Artist Couture though and highlight under my brow bone because I know that pink shade isn't going to look great. But I think using that pink shade made my inner corners look better, so that made me happier. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not too bad. Okay, so I actually think I like this fan brush for fixing my and doing my my contour on my nose. Um, but yeah, I just went in with some mascara because I'm getting crunched for time and this video is getting longer. I cannot seem to do short videos, so that's going to be what I work on because I'm kind of stuck at that 25 minute mark it seems like and... I really don't want to make them that long for you guys. But anyway, yeah, so um, I think I'm going to try this out with a look, maybe with my Daisy Marquez palette. Loving that palette. Um, this I'll have to let you guys know about. It smells good, though. This I think I'm really going to like for my nose. This performed pretty well. We'll see how it wears throughout the day, how long it lasts, and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah. I'll let you know how the scrub goes, and I'm not sure if I'm even going to use this nail polish because, like I said, the box was open, like somebody wanted to try her out. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope you have a nice night or day wherever you are, and um, yeah, we'll see you on the next Trace of Tries tutorials. Lots of love from me and Thomas to you, and... Have a wonderful Easter weekend. Bye, guys.